Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Sonic Adventure LP. Last time we finished off Tales of Sword by beating the crap out of the Egg Walker. Now it's time for the last of our classic trio, none other than our favorite dumbass himself, Knuckles the Echidna, who offers a very different style of gameplay which we'll be seeing later down the series. Once more, twice more, all five. Okay, let's go! Let's do this! As far back as I can remember, I've been living here on this dark island, always guarding the Master Emerald from anything that could harm it. I don't know why I was given this job, why it was my fate, destined to be here forever. What the? What's going on here? Oh no! Something's happened to the Master Emerald! Huh? Who are you? Did you do this? Oh, I'll get you for this! Oh! Ah! Hey! No fair! Wait! What's happening to you? Come back here! Whoa, that was incredible. I've never seen anything like it. Oh no, it's starting to happen. Without the Master Emerald's power, this whole island will fall into the ocean. It's up to me to find the missing pieces of the Master Emerald. It won't be easy. Pieces flew off everywhere. Guess I better start looking anywhere I can. And his search leads him here into civilization. Now we are playing as Knuckles. He can still, thankfully, run at a quick speed. But... But... He doesn't have a tail attack or a homing attack like Sonic. However, as you saw in that cutscene, he has a 1, 2, 3 punch. And he can even glide. And if it can be. No, no, it can't be demonstrated here. Well, actually. Oh, there you go, you just saw it. But as we'll also be seeing later more in the stages, he can also climb walls. So, yeah, just like the classic days back in Sonic 3 glide, climb walls. Shooting stars, all oh, you son of a bitch. Those are my emeralds! Wait, it is? No! My train! Oh, whatever, we're probably pretty early in the morning. You might find what you're looking for. Well, plot convenience always triumphs over anything else. And by the way, this is a newspaper stand. Yeah, I remember when those exist existed more. Paper says, in mysterious meet your shower with side. Shiny green meteor shooting to the north. Oh. <laughs> north, huh? Thank you, miss. When we go north, we can actually see this police barrier over here. Oh, hi, burger shop lady. She wished on a master emerald piece to meet the guy from the burger shop. In fact, what's the status at this point in the story? Our smiles never stopped at the burger shop. No cute girls here today. Left a smile on my face, but we can take with that any pretty girls. Should I hire somebody? Foreshadowing. But enough of that. I believe that is the Mr. Know-It-All guy right here, but we don't need him. 
This is a police barrier, or some kind of barrier anyway. I say, fuck that. And as all you may remember, this is the entrance to Speed Highway. Yeah. Ah, at dawn. And yes, at dawn. I stupidly called it until dawn earlier. I felt like a dumbass. Anyway, welcome to the real meat of Knuckles gameplay. Pure exploration. But here's the thing, though. That radar there will blink any time you're near an emerald. Any emerald. Emeralds can be found in items broken by a punch. Any emerald. This gameplay style returns in Adventure 2 and 1 point in Sonic 06, but it's butchered there. But anyway. In Adventure 2, the radar only detected one emerald piece at a time, which is why those levels can honestly go suck my dick. The tanks on the I don't mean any malice to anyone who likes Adventure 2's charge of hunting levels, but Jesus freaking Christ, I spent way too long at certain levels. Meteor Herd! This way. And you even have the ball of light right here to help lead you to a master emerald piece. There you go. This for Adventure 2, I would have missed that until like minutes later. And I typically ran into that over and over. And usually I find pieces a lot quicker than this. Huh. Speaking of a piece, is one right? Booyah! One more to go. And not only that, but I feel like these levels are better designed in Adventure 1. They're a lot more small and confined. They're not massive like me, your her, or Max Base or Adventure 2. And look at that, we're done already. Found it. Done already with the first stage. But yeah, I would take these treasure hunting levels only if for the stage design and for the right car. Nothing wrong with Adventure 2, <laughs> but... Oh, yeah, that radar was so bad. And the hidden system was virtually useless unless you knew the stage. I don't know Meteor Hurt because I don't go back to it. How the hell am I supposed to know what that means? This and that, this and that. But, <laughs> that's, the, that's what happened. A new record. Hmm. Actually, this is at the point. After Sonic and Tails had actually left Xenopolis. Because that's actually where we're going next. And what's this old man doing here? Oh, she wasn't listening to me. My parents are worried, probably. Little does he know that her papa's stuck in the Mystic Ruins. And being a town that never seen. I know that I'm talking to the townspeople a lot, but I really do enjoy talking to the townspeople to see what's going on in their daily lives. Like, despite them being bland models, they actually have more of a personality than, well, most of the townspeople from Sonic 06. Like, at least this game has an excuse. You can go to the casino area at night time. And even then, again, you can still hit at the ball of light in order to give you that, well, hint. Really be seen no around. trains are currently in service. No trains are running up close. What do you mean she? She's right there. At least I think that's her anyway. That's the same model that I think they used. Okay, sorry, I'm wrong. That they're inside Casinopolis right now. Actually, probably fucking around in the pinball machine because when you get out of the stage, they are right there, but you don't you don't see them while you're inside Casinopolis. And see, I've already found two emerald pieces. This way. And according to, okay, according to the ball of light. Oh, oh there's one inside this gold Sonic statue. Boosh. Well, you know, that's what I call an Achilles. Two already. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm. Oh my god, I- wow. Hmm. That sign looks a bit odd. Okay, I shouldn't beat around the bush here. In the original 1998 Japanese release only, that Neon Calusinopolis sign was actually this Neon Cowgirl sign that had a gold martini glass, or wine glass, whatever the fuck you want to call it, that would actually moan whenever you hit it. And every subsequent release, no matter what region you're in, they took it out. This way. Ball of light. 
down below. <sighs> I know there's somewhere we can go for that, but I never had an emerald down there actually, so I'm a bit. Oh wait, no. In fact, found it. Done with the second stage already. But yeah, they removed that that neon cowgirl sign, and that cowgirl sign was actually going to be even crazier <laughs> back in the Good enough. like you know prototypes. But actually. Hello everybody. I'm this is after my knuckle session, and I mentioned in that session that in Casinopolis, in the original 1998 Japanese release, there was a neon cowgirl sign in Casinopolis. I am right now playing this on an emulator, the original release from Japan in 1998. Purely just to show you the neon cowgirl sign. However, I need to find the damn sign, because it was where the original other neon sign was in my room. So, let's find a way to get there so I can show you the sign. Ah, crap. Yeah, another thing, ladies and gentlemen, for some reason I can't control my camera that well using my shoulder button, so... Oh, there we go. Wrong one. Ah. Right there! Right there, ladies and gentlemen. Lo and behold, I know uh, one video of this already exists on YouTube, but I wanted to be a bit different and to show it off myself. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Neon Cowgirl Billboard sign. I already mentioned this in the session, but very briefly, but this sign was also originally meant to be even crazier. It was actually going to be this Playboy Bunny-esque girl with a bar and everything and like one of the earliest prototypes, but they just changed it to this neon cowgirl sign, which you can actually glide inside of the glass. Yeah, you can actually land inside the glass. And actually, there's something else about this neon cowgirl sign. Hold on. <sighs> if, if only you could stop, like, you know, radar could shut up for a second, but yeah, she's moaning every time you hit her. Yeah, she moans every time you hit her. It's very faintly heard because of the because of how it's going with the radar, but yes. <laughs> yeah, but dumb radar aside and piece of shit enemy aside, fuck you for interrupting my flow. Uh, I am honestly hold on. Oh, damn it, it's below ground. Actually, is that where it was? Okay, thank you. I actually wanted to get it in before going back to the sign so I can... <laughs> I'm sounding really awkward. But anyway. I wanted to hit it without the radar sound being there so that way it can be better heard. Okay, but well that's enough of that. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is the Neon Cowgirl billboard sign in original Casinopolis. Alrighty then, back to your regularly scheduled programming. Where in the world am I? I don't remember being here before, but something about it is familiar. Hmm, this is very strange. Considering you know what's on beyond the other side of that door, and well, this, I can honestly say what what the answer is. I mean, it is an old Echidna tribe, and, well, Knuckles is an Echidna. So yeah, it's pretty obvious the answer. And so is this when you really look at it. And actually, over there, you, we can see what looks like to be an orange figure, which we can only assume is Tikal. But who the hell is that right next to her? 
Let's find out. Father, please don't! To call, the seven emeralds are essential to our survival. It is for the good of all our people. How can I make you understand? Attacking other countries, stealing and killing can't be the right path to peace. No one has the right to take their holy grounds. I beg you, Father. Huh? Now where am I? Back in Station Square, I see. What's going on here anyway? <laughs>